both legs to the right of her. Yay, yay, yay. That's going to use the body checks now. Belgian won't make too much impression on this. That's better. <laughs> Obviously, Bert Michel, the Belgian, saying if you play this way in this country, okay, I'll try it too. And goes for Bruno's beard. But the referee reprimands him very quickly on it. Maybe that'll calm things down a bit. Just a wee bit early, but it was okay. Referee right there. One minute to go in the second round, and what sort of a landing has Michel had there? Okay, no trouble. If he was allowed back, that is. Anyway, the referee stopped the count because he was illegally grabbing through the ropes. No, no count now. He was doing the counting, the referee wasn't. On the bell now. Bruno Errington, or Big Bruno, as he's often billed. He sold his hairdressing business, apparently, and his poodle parlors, which he had for quite a few years in order to concentrate on wrestling full-time. Right, so, obviously means we're going to see a bit more of him in the rings, probably on television as well. He's got four to go against this Bel Belgian champ, though. Centers away, round three. Round three, the first fall decides it. Bert Michel of Belgium in the trunks versus big Bruno Errington from Portsmouth. with one fist and then forearming with the other hand very neat and three times not too often you see a heavyweight drop kick Jimmy Hussey used to do it not many since but Bert Michel very neat drop kick and a definite clinch fist on two occasions there and must be surely a public warning for this when he can break him. Yes, public warning it is. his first public warning to be Bruno Arrington. Arrington arguing, but it was obviously a punch on three occasions there. And Michel still suffering from him. Those punches. but it was a slap eventually and Errington's arm still caught the top two ropes
forearms, not making too much difference to Lovington. Very powerful up there on the chest. Tries the arms again. And Michel, I don't know whether he thinks that's allowed in this country, but it certainly isn't. Doesn't speak too much English, though. Again, the grab of hair by Orrington, and the referee spotted it again. The foot going into the bell. That was his left foot there, ringing the bell a bit early. Probably he wanted it that way. But he's not going to get it because there's a couple of minutes to go yet in this third round. One fall decides the bout and one public warning against Ovington in the Leotard and Tax. This Belgian champion, Bert Michel, only over here for one day, this particular bout. He leaves for Antwerp tomorrow for a very special bout on Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday of next week. He then he'll come here again if he gets this treatment. He certainly didn't know it was all in wrestling. At the moment, Bruno Erickson seems to think it is. The double arm. Now, will he try the suplex from this? I don't think he's got it on quite right. One minute to go. And no. No suplex possible there, which is the Belgian speciality move. Especially from the double arm. and taking the arm with him. Well, all you have to do is submit, Arrington. The referee right down there if you want to submit. Tremendous submission hole, but it didn't work. And a head scissors counter to Bruno. Right above us here. Right into the ropes. Sort of mattress affair covering the monitors that's in front of me here. Fortunately for them. Right on the bell now. Well, I don't know if they've heard the bell or whether they haven't, but he doesn't seem to be in too interested. The Belgian, anyway. They won't get much interval left if they don't hurry up and get to their corners. Seconds away, round four. And that bell, believe it or not, is for the start of round four. They haven't even heard the end of round three yet. Aren't they? In the meantime, some great postings going on by both of them knee drop but not a very high one but who could perform a high one with Orrington at 19, to 19 stone 12 and may be sorry that he's been doing so much rule bending here. Belgian really retaliating and be allowed to get away with it. Stopped short, stopped very short. The double arm now by Elrington. If he gets over the top for the shoulder press, he can and he has. Two, three. There it is. The winner, 
Ellrington in just a minute 23 seconds of round four. Charlie Fisher. Now with the one four required, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Big Bruno Ellington. Gentlemen, for a very good loser, Bob Michelle.